hello hello and welcome to my channel today i am going to talk to you about another book i read um audio book i read um oh it is called fly girls um and this is how five daring women defend the defined all odds and made advocation history by keith o'brien this was one of my five star books of, you know, and this is basically about five women who obviously flew an airplane um, in the 1920s and 1930s. Um, and they cover different kinds of women like Florence, um, Kendra Smith, Ruth Elder, um, Amaya Earhart, Ruth Nichols, and Lewis Fat. Let's see who's in my shirt. And, huh? Let's see who's in my shirt. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and, um, yeah, and I learned a whole lot in this book. Um, basically, there was, um, the, they talk about like the lives uh, of these mommy, women. Most of these women. I wrapped a, a, a car present in, in the wrapping paper. Okay, it's in your shirt. Nope. It's in, it was in, in wrapping paper. Okay, okay. We get it. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is my crazy little guy. Say hi. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, these women, they talked about, like, the lives of the women, and kind of, um, how women did, like, um, how these women wanted to become, um, uh, drive an airplane, and basically they wanted to work really hard, go to college, and their families looked like, you know, you're supposed to stay home with children, um, and you have to work twice as hard as <laughs> men. Basically, the <laughs> basically <laughs> basically they have to work twice as hard as men, and um, it was very very informative. And basically. <laughs> Um, it's just very informative. Bobby, go, please, please go, go I, and watch the show. I will. Um, and basically they... Mommy! What? The fighter. Oh. There you go. You can play with that. Anyway. So, like... I don't know, it was really informative. I think my favorite part of that is when one of the girls like crashed. I don't even really remember who it was. That but they crashed and the guy or one of the um guys that like allowed her to drive said that the reason that like they found out that she had a period and the reason was that she has a period. Like come on. Like, I was so mad at them. <laughs> like, really? Like, what the heck? And, um, but they, but it was a time period in the 1920s and 1930s. People, women, stayed home a lot. Women, um, really, um, you know, women were the housekeepers and the, the, kept the house clean and stuff. Nowadays, women work women work and women do it all you know but beforehand not many women did it all so they had to even with money they had to there's a quote here it says others found jobs but got paid far less than men a fact that a fact not lost on cash strapped employers it was one employer said 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 the only real reason to hire women, they produce more in the game. So they like produce more of an output 
and they get less money. They don't need a lot of money. <laughs> Which, I mean, you could technically do that to you guys too. But, yeah. I did really enjoy this book. Um, it was a five star. The reading experience was great. I think I learned a whole lot more about these other um, people during that time that you aren't really talked about. You're like in history, I think, or in school. I learned about Nina Earhart, but I never learned about any of these other people that had experienced um, flying. You know how the accidents are so traumatic, and yet the people are young. So this one was a really excellent book. I do highly recommend it um, if y'all have read it. Yeah, and that is it for this video. Um, I know it was short. I really love this book, but um, there is some consistency. I listened to it to Audible, so I don't really know how, like, the terms go, if the terms were, like, wrongly used and less researched, but I think that I just really like the, um, like, the ease, the ease of reading is really good, and the, um, I guess it would be how they tackled the subject talked about all five of these women equally and I just thought it was really interesting. So if you like nonfiction, this is one book that you should read if you like nonfiction. Not everybody likes nonfiction, so yes. Um but I really liked it. Also if you like women history too, like if you are in interested in women history yeah, well not um, so I'm going to talk about what I'm currently reading right now. Currently I'm reading two. I'm reading the Don't Help, I think, on my audiobook, which I will be listening to. I have to kind of clean a little bit, but yeah. And then I'm going to be, um, reading, I'm currently reading, I'm in 164 pages of 100, 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Carson. And I'm planning on trying to finish this this week before Thursday. I want to finish this before Thursday because I want to start another uh, middle grade. So I'm going to start another middle grade and um, I'm also, yeah, and so I'm really enjoying this one as well. A lot of people doesn't, don't, didn't really like it and they, there's a lot of negative to like where the story goes, but I think it's really good. It's capturing my attention. I really, my favorite character is probably the one from Japan, the Meridori, or yeah, probably her. But Maya's a really good character too, but I don't really relate to her because she's like a band person who's like, you know, her goal is to become famous, and I don't really relate to people that want to become famous, so I don't really relate to her, but I do relate to Midori. I really love Midori um, so much. She's just, yeah, she definitely wants to get out onto the moon, and it's just so amazing. I also really like Antoine, but he's not having that much, like, he has a lot of, um, what was it, chapters in the beginning, but then like his chapters are less, so it's just Madara and Mia. I'm like wondering if there's, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to even be romance between, like I don't see any romance right now from where I am between um, Antoine. But yeah, this book is about a group of teenagers who go into, who are chosen in a lottery to go to the moon and they go to the moon because of something um they have two i think ops what was it um mission two missions to complete but um we don't really know what all the missions or the given details um yeah so i'm really enjoying it anyway so um yeah i'm talking about this now right 
yeah. So please check out the uh, Fly Girls. I will, um, if you want to, I will leave a link down below for the book on Amazon. Um, and yeah, that is it. And have a great rest of the day. Um, and stuff. Happy reading. Bye.